Are you ready? All right. First of all, I'd like to welcome everybody to the press conference today. I want to thank you for coming out. Uh, the format of the conference is going to be, uh, I'll introduce Dr. Trouth, and she will, uh, Dr. Tice will speak, and then Coach Spavital will follow up. After that, we'll open it up for some questions from the media. And at this time, I'll introduce Dr. Denise Strath. Thank you so much. I am so happy to be here today to share with you this exciting announcement. But before I begin, I want to recognize and congratulate our volleyball coach, Karen Chisholm. <laughs> I think all of you obviously know that we beat Rice last night in the first round of the NCAA tournament and we're really pumped uh, for the 8 o'clock game tonight. Uh, on November 18th, we began a 10-day, very intentional and robust national search for the best coach to lead Texas State football. And today we're thrilled to introduce him to you. We have so many good friends and supporters uh, who have joined us today, and I can't begin to name all of you, but I do want to thank you for sharing uh, this important occasion with us. Uh, however, I do want to point out that the president of the student government is here, Ruben Becerra, and the vice president of student government, Allison Castillo. Ruben and Allison represent over 38,000 students, and our students were behind us when we made the important decision to move to FBS several years ago, and our students have been great supporters, and really, we are so grateful to you. I also want to thank our athletic director, Dr. Larry Tunes, the Department of Athletic staff, and others at Texas State for the time that they dedicated to this search and to this hire. Their work moved us quickly and thoroughly through this process. I also appreciate the support we've received from the Texas State University System Chancellor, Brian McCall, and the system staff to help us arrive at this wonderful announcement. In conversations that I've had with our new coach, I have expressed my personal commitment to the athletics program and my confidence in the leadership of Dr. Larry Tice. We knew when we went down the road of this search, we were looking for a coach who had championship experience, who was an excellent recruiter, who knew how to win, who had a commitment to our core values, who had a passion for coaching, and who understood the student part of student athletes. And we got it all. So I am pleased to now turn the microphone over to our athletic director, Dr. Larry Tunis, to officially welcome our new coach to the Bobcat family. Thank you. Thank you, Dr. Rock. Good morning, everyone. It's my pleasure to introduce our next football coach, Jake Spavadol. He's joined today by his wife, Megan. Unfortunately, their children, 18-month-old Madison Grace and five-month-old Landon Zachary, are back in Morgantown with their grandparents, stuck in a snowstorm in the house. So <laughs> couldn't get them here. In a few minutes, we'll hear, we'll, we will hear from Coach Spavadol. But I want to start by thanking everyone at the university and the system office who made this short 10-day search for a head coach possible. Jake was our top choice. And I have to tell you, we as a group watched the West Virginia-Oklahoma shootout in a panic. Because if West Virginia won, we had to change our plans and move this whole search back a week and do this in Dallas after the Big 12 championship game. Jake, I'm sorry you lost 59-6, to buddy, but I'm glad you lost. <laughs> Be the last time, but glad you lose. <laughs> Jake was the only candidate after a long day of interviews that I went back 
to his hotel personally, had somebody drive me over there to spend an hour with him. And we talked about the budget, potential coaches, the plans for the future of this university, and how great this campus is. We always knew Jake was the one, but that decision really was confirmed to me after he persevered for 22 hours to get here because of bad weather. And I picked him up at midnight at the Austin airport, and we talked about facilities. And we actually did a tour of these facilities at midnight, between midnight and about 1.15 a.m. And it was interesting. It was by flashlight, and we got locked in the equipment room, so he saw me in a panic right off the bat <laughs> and knew how I would react in a crisis. But I'm still glad he's here. I've had the opportunity to talk, to talk to many people about Jake over the last few days. I spent a lot of time with him myself. There's some qualities that shine through in every conversation, and those are his integrity, his work ethic, his leadership ability, his skills and talent as a top offensive coordinator, his tenacity, and his commitment to his players and to his family. He has rightfully earned a reputation as a player's coach. Those qualities align perfectly with our values at Texas State University. They will make us stronger on and off the field. Jake's roots run deep in football. His grandfather, Jim Spavadol, was a fullback for the Baltimore Colts, who spent nearly 40 years as a college and professional coach. His father, Steve, has been a high school football coach in Oklahoma for three decades. Unfortunately, he could not be here today because they are running for the state title championship in Oklahoma. Both Jake and his brother, Zach, starred for their dad at Tulsa's Union High School. Eventually, he pulled double duty at Missouri State as the team's quarterback and punter. I know Jake will bring that lineage, breadth of experience, and passion to Texas State. He has been the play caller of some of the top offenses in the country. And he's developed some of the most talented quarterbacks in the country. And that list includes Geno Smith, Johnny Manziel, Davis Webb, Case Keenum, Brandon Whedon, and Will Greyer. It's been an exciting couple weeks for Coach Babadol. Last week, he was named a semifinalist for the 2018 Broyles Award, which signifies the nation's top assistant coach. We started this search with a tough, tough list of must-haves. We wanted someone who could connect to the team, someone with strong Texas recruiting ties, someone who has worked for great coaches and mentored great players, and someone who ran an exciting offense. We found all of that in Jake. It's my pleasure and privilege to invite to the microphone new head football coach, Jake Spavadol. All yours, brother. Okay. All yours. All right, okay. Thank you. Thank you. Um, I do want to note that the equipment room when we were locked in there, there was an easy access exit room to the side that you could just walk right out. But the panic, <laughs> the panic was uh, priceless. I and the uh, still couldn't find it. <laughs> no, but uh, let me begin by first off thanking uh, President Roth and uh, our, our university's provost, Jean Bourgeois, and, um, and obviously Dr. Tice right here, who um, for affording me in this incredible opportunity and their confidence to believe in who I am and what we're capable of doing things together here at Texas State. Um, I'm truly humbled and grateful to be standing in front of you guys. Um, I also want to take a moment to thank Dana Holgerson, Cliff Kingsbury, Sonny Dykes, Kevin Sumlin, and Mike Gundy you know, for helping me build my foundation in my career and also teaching me the game of football. Uh, I, am, I am nothing without family, and my mom and dad and brother Zach have been through me through the highs and the lows, through the challenging times and the good times. And I couldn't be here with like, standing in front of you without their love and support. But most importantly, I couldn't be standing here in front of you guys without my wife, Megan, who, um, you know, stand up, Megan, and introduce yourself. <laughs> my beautiful wife. Um, who, it was kind of an interesting role that we switched last night where I was the one that was up all night and she was sleeping so soundly because our, our daughter and, uh, and our son are back in West Virginia. But um, I can't tell you how excited we are uh, to be a part of this te Texas State family. 
Um, you know, it's, uh, it's been a very humbling experience, but I can tell there's just, I'm surrounded by a lot of great people. Um, I, I, am, I am the grandson of a legendary football coach and player. I'm the son of a high school coach, like what Larry was saying, and a, and a brother of a successful college coach. Um, you know, growing up in a locker room in Tulsa, Oklahoma, which was my dad's high school, uh, you learn a lot about teamwork and you learn about the daily pursuit of excellence. And, you know, that was something that I, I knew, like I didn't know much at a young age, but the one thing I did know, I was bound to coach ball. And I thank them so much for that opportunity because when you're a coach's kid, it's just a little bit different and people can understand me on that. Um, you know, as, as a student athlete at Missouri State, I came to understand the importance of a player coach and the impact of the student athlete experience. You know, I know that what it's like to be in college, uh, in college as a student athlete and, and working towards a degree and the demands that Division I football has. Um, I've been a part of that. You know, my first coaching job was at University of Tulsa, and this is the life of a, co a, co a college coach. I started off at University of Tulsa. I went to Houston. I went to Oklahoma State. And I went to West Virginia. I found my wife and drug her to Texas, and I was at Texas A&M. Right, and then I moved to California, Berkeley, which is a whole 180 of culture difference between Texas. And, <laughs> and, and now I, and I had some opportunities after that, and there's a lot of transition. I ended up back in West Virginia. And um, I've had the opportunity to work around so many true, tremendous coaches and some of the greatest assistant coaches in America. And I'm truly grateful and blessed for that type of hustle and that opportunity to be around some of the greatest that have coached this game. And they have really pa paved my career and my path. And I've, I've learned a lot of lessons. You know, I'm a younger coach, but I'm telling you, with my experience, I've, I feel like I have a lifetime experience being around these type of men. Um, you know, over the past two days, I've had a lot of opportunities to meet faculty and staff and alumni and donors, and most importantly, our players. And I can't thank them enough for such a warm welcome, and just not for me and especially for my wife. It's been great getting her down here, and, and just the welcome has been overwhelming for me. And um, I can't thank you guys enough for that. But, um, you know, the most importantly thing is I, I'm, what I told these players today. You know, we are all in this together. You know, and we're only going to be as good as the people in this room. And we all have to be headed in the same direction. And I see that as the goal, and I see the potential here. And I see all of us being a close-knit group of people working forward because I can see the community that is here. There's a lot of tough, you know, hardworking people, and it's very close. You look at the longevity of the people that have been here, and these people don't want to leave here. And that means a lot to me right there, and that's something where you can start a family. And uh, I'm just so pleased with um, where, we're, where, we're, where we're at with this and where we can take this with these kids because these kids are a good group of kids from what I've met and it's a close group and I think there's so much potential. It just needs a little spark right now and I'm here to do that. You know, and let me set this straight with you know, the, the expectations here at Texas State. We, we're going to win. We're going to win games. We're going to win championships. We're going to win bowl games. Right, and we're going to win by playing a exciting brand of football, an uh, uh, up-tempo, exciting offense with a physical, tough defense. All right? and, and we are going to recruit young men of character who not only have the drive and ability to play at Texas State, but who are willing to do what's necessary and earn a degree and represent our university with pride. And our coaches and our student athletes will engage on campus and in the community and we'll do our part to enhance this Texas State University brand that I'm so fortunate to be a part of. And I can't thank you guys enough for this opportunity. I'm so fired up to get to work and so very humbled to be a part of this experience. And as I learned today, let's go Bobcats. <laughs> <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, that concludes our press conference uh, for this time. We will open up to uh, questions to the media. Dr. Trout and Dr. Tice will be standing over here. We can do some one-on-ones over here to my left. Coach Spavitol will be over here to my right. And you're welcome to come up, media, and ask some questions and look forward to uh, working with you. Thank you.